Good morning, everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come what may, we're going to praise. Come what may, we're going to pray. I have had a very rough morning um, with Isaac and his behaviors. But um, before I run, well, I've already run two errands. But before I continue on my running of errands, I just wanted to stop and tell you all that I love you very much. Um, those of you that pray with me, it's a joy to come alongside you and to pray to Jesus. Um, you know, uh, a friend of mine shared with me last night, I was talking about, you know, like we're living in the end times and she's like, well, if Harris wins and I was like, no, no, in the name of Jesus, no. And I mean, I, I don't mean to get political on this, but we definitely want someone that does not agree with a uh, full term abortion to become our leader of the United States of America. So God has the right person for the job, but the person is not going to agree with killing babies. Um, but anyway, my point is that we are all grieved by the state of America. We're all grieved by various troubles and afflictions. And I just read in First Corinthians morning and it was talking about how we're all one body, many members. And, you know, the members that are weak, they're um, hidden, you know, and I mean, I, I'm curious if in Bible days they wore undergarments. They must have, right? Some kind of undergarments to protect their sensitive areas for women and sensitive areas for men. But I think of, you know, Isaac. He's disabled and he's weak. And one of my friends years ago, I loved what she said. We were talking about Isaac's school, Port View. And she said, I love that they treat our children with dignity. Because it, you know, that's the same verse that it said in Corinthians in my reading this morning. It said that we, something about with the body of Christ, we hide the undignified members, you know, like the liver, the organs, you know, <clears throat> our brain, you know, is cased by this hard, um, cr you know, skull to protect the sensitive part. Our heart is protected. You know, our organs are all protected. Even think of a baby when it's growing in the womb, it has all these um, means of being protected and you know anyway my point is that we groan together we grieve together we mourn together but we rejoice together and so anyway um, I could go on and on and on I feel very um, muted in my um, fellowship life I wish I could meet with more women share with more women interact with more women but um, a lot of the events for women are in the evenings and in the evenings I'm caregiver mom you know with Isaac but yesterday uh, a, a sister and a brother from church came over and Isaac did well I mean he had some behaviors but nothing nothing crazy um, and it was great it was just really nice and refreshing you know we told them all the protocols you know don't knock on the door um, you know we're not going to be you know eating pizza or food you know we're just going to talk and have some fellowship and you know and Isaac kept saying by friends by friends he wants them to leave so he can have mom back he could have his house back but anyway I'm just kind of heavy-hearted so I wanted to share those things and as I share whether it's a verse or whether it's something Isaac related um just pray for me please you know but anyway let's pray Heavenly Father, I thank you for the coolness of my car right now as it's it's going to be a hot day um, already as it's not even quite 10 a.m. Southern California time right now this day, Monday. Um, it's hot. It's going to be very hot, probably triple digits. And you allow us to be cool with air conditioning. You allow us to be cool with jumping in a shower or um, going in a pool or driving to the ocean. There's so many ways to cool down that you've provided, Father. But as humans, we're weak and we're frail when we're cold. We need a heater or a fireplace or um, a jacket. When we're hot, we need means to cool down. And that just reminds us of our frailty. And even as I read this devotion where this woman said that she she's always been so busy go 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 when her kids were little busy ministry busy her whole life is busy she said but having to sleep is that level playing field that reminds us of how frail we are and it's so true our eyes get heavy our mind gets weary our limbs are tired and we have to sleep you've you've made us frail we're fragile frail people and we live in a sin stained sin cursed um, this world that's on its way for utter destruction 
but I thank you God thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord that we are not gonna die in hell that we will be resurrected in the last day or if we die we're gonna go forever be with you like the scripture says and so Lord help us to take every thought captive the ugly thoughts that come in you know when we're feeling down or we're feeling blue or we get angry at the sin of the world and or angry at other people irritable agitated father as I read yesterday in my one year Bible of the Proverbs it said that a quarrelsome wife it's better to live in in a barren you know farm land than to live in a house with a with a, a troublesome quarrelsome complaining wife and I looked up those words God and as you know it says vexed distressed tormented nagging um agitated and i thought that's what it feels the state of the world is the world is very agitated and irritable and i remember during covid people were fearful it was a different vibe it was a different sense across everyone except for christians we had a little bit of fear but you calm that fear because we know that we can trust in you our hope is in you our rest is in you you're our fortress our strong tower our safe place but you know what i mean father there's an air and a sense around our land of irritability and agitation whether it's you took my parking place or um, the elections i'm irritated because these people lie or i'm irritated because my kids don't want to come to church with me or i'm mad at this or upset at that father i pray you would just calm all that noise and that you would restore unto us the joy of our salvation thank you for the communion table thank you for worship thank you for those of us that were able to go to church yesterday on a sunday morning that we could worship with our brothers and sisters that we could lift up holy hands and we could say create in us a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within us father i love 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 corporate worship i'm so incredibly thankful for those moments when i can get together with my brothers and sisters and friends and family in the lord because i don't have that with Isaac like I used to it's so different so yesterday I just am so thankful that Olivia and I were able to attend church together and Chuck held on the fort hanging out with Isaac and and with that Lord I just confess my sins before you of just being weary and tired and yes sometimes agitated forgive us all all of us of our sins father forgive me of my personal sins forgive us all of our sins or we want to just lay them at your feet Lord you know what they are already anyway but we want to be clean we want to uh, repent we want to confess we want to say lord i am not right i'm not right in my head i'm not right in my words i'm not right in my thoughts i am a sinner but thanks be to god for the grace lord the grace that sustains us the grace that helps us endure the grace that lifts our head father we are so weary and we just praise you for your love we praise you for your grace we thank you that as far as the east is to the west you cast our sins aside we thank you god that you put us into ministries that we have no business doing lord we know that because we know ourselves but you know us best you know us better than we know ourselves and yet you still use us father i pray for each and every person and in, in the respective ministries that they're in whether it's within the church or outside of the church within the home or outside of the home lord we all serve you in one capacity or another so use us use us to the last drop god and i do pray for myself father as it's been so hard with isaac as he's just been so irritated i don't know if it's the hot weather i don't know if it's puberty i don't know if it's growing pains in his legs his muscles um, maybe it was annoyed this morning because we had friends two people over last night i don't know but holy spirit you do and your word says if any of you lacks wisdom ask and i will give it to you lord you're not holding out on us you're not refraining from us. You are there. You are there to give us wisdom. You're there to give us love and compassion and a listening ear. And Lord, in your perfect timing, you will heal Isaac, Lord. I know that in heaven, he will sing the praises of the Lamb, like it says in Isaiah. The leap will walk, the blind will see, the lame will speak the praises of the Lamb. I cannot wait, Lord. You do give us streams in the desert, Lord, and water from the rock. You are our rock. You are our um, God, our King. You are Hashem, the name above all names. You are Melech, King of kings and Lord of lords. You are high and lifted up. I see the Lord seated on the throne, exalted, and the train of his robe fills the temple with glory 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 to the lamb holy 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 to the lamb we worship you we adore you father i pray for those that are grieving this morning i lift up vivian as today's edwin's birthday give her comfort be with her children with her grandchildren i pray for my friend and sister in christ jessica as today's timmy's birthday be with jamie and matt and kelly and jessica and henry and holt as they're grieving the loss of timmy i can't believe it father he would have been 45 
and instead he passed away and instead he's in heaven but he's where we long to be edwin is where we long to be dan tima is where we long to be my de stepdad reuben is where we long to be my grandma um, barba and so many others they're there they're already there and so lord we are pilgrims marching through give us strength give us courage give us wisdom and discernment lord these days are evil father i pray for jocelyn olivia's dear dear friend as she's mormon and she's going to a mission to brazil I pray that you, Holy Spirit, would send angels on that airplane. You would send angels in the mission field. That you would put godly people in her path that would say, we don't believe in Joseph Smith. We believe in Jesus Christ. And that you would lift up the scales from her eyes of religion and that she would become saved. Please, God, may it spread like wildfire and may her whole family be saved. Take her out of that bondage of religion and works, Father. And I just pray for our pastors, our teachers, and our leaders. I thank you for them. I pray for our building, Calvary Chapel, Pomona Valley, wherever that will be. I pray for all the churches that are in need of a building, God, that you would provide Jehovah Jireh. I pray for those that are in need of jobs, that you would provide for them. For those that are in need of hope, that you would refresh them, Father. For all the prodigals, there's so many. I feel like the list there's another person that is added to it every single day but lord the prodigal's wanderings are not too far beyond your grasp you are not a man that you could lie you save you are savior yeshua saving is what you do it's in your name and so save these prodigals rip them up snatch them up harpazo snatch them up violently from the grimy hands of satan put their feet upon the rock and save them and give them a testimony be with adil lord may he be born again may he not go back to the vice of drugs i pray for my beautiful daughter olivia grace as she's going off to college she'll be living in the dorms and my heart is so sad but i'm also rejoicing because I know that you handpicked this college for her. You handpicked her dorm roommates. You handpicked her professors. You handpicked her. And even as I read this morning in Esther, for such a time as this, you put Olivia at Vanguard for such a time as this. You put us in our workplaces, in our neighborhoods, in our families, in our church ministries, with our marriages, with our spouses, with our, our dynamics of our extended family. You put us exactly where you want us for such a time as this. Help us not forget that that lord please please god help us to remember that it we don't live a purposeless life you very much have a life plan for us and a schedule and an agenda and you have so many things in store for us that if you told us our minds would be blown we'd be like ash we just explode with all of the things that you have in store for us so give us strength father and for the trials that are many give us endurance lord i think of those marathon runners they can't run their fastest lap off the jump they have to pace themselves help us have that endurance god please please jesus we love you we need you help us to remember we wrestle not against flesh and blood but principalities and powers of darkness and greater are you who lives in us than he who's in the world strengthen us god strengthen us with the most holy faith forgive us of our sins keep us clean help us not ruin our testimonies help us to live a life that's pure and holy and undefiled help us to keep each other accountable and we just love you and we worship you and we bless your holy name in jesus christ's name we pray in jesus christ to jesus christ we give all the praise amen